Well, good morning to everyone. Oops, not my turn. Hope everybody had a good weekend. We went out yesterday in two different trucks, me and me and Pops. And uh, I was gonna get a 360 track hoe while he moved some smaller equipment with that smaller trailer. I was just getting to the job site when I got a phone call. Somebody ran over a power pole and blocked my access. There's two different accesses. There's only one that I can get in and out of. So that got canceled. They sent me from there to go move a front loader, took care of that. Pops took care of the rest of the day. So it was a four, four machine day yesterday. I had a I had an easy day. I didn't didn't turn the camera on. Sorry about that. I was tired. My lower back was hurting. I just wasn't feeling it. Lower back is still pretty beat up today, so I got my seat heater on. Maybe that'll give it a good little... Yeah, just come all over top of that stop bar, my friend. Send me into the ditch. Appreciate you. Good man, good man. But then uh, we got a phone call last night. Got four more machines with a different client. And now we're headed to get that 360 track hose. So busy day. Pops is following me to the track hose in his uh, pickup truck. Help me get in and out of there. It's tight. I don't even know where the new entrance is. Honestly, they just put it together. But he's been there. He knows where it's at. And it's tight from what I understand. But get that 360 out of there. Then Pop's going to come back and get his truck, the one stack Mac. He's going to go move off. Big roller, pretty good size roller. And I might meet up with him later today on the other job. Everything after that is all coming from, well that roller is going to the, to this particular job and then I've got to go get four or three off a different job and bring it to that job. But that job's right down the road from our yard. So maybe, maybe Pops will meet me there with the pickup truck and uh, ride with me, help me get those bigger machines. One of them's old granddad, the big water truck. And uh, I could use a little help today. My back is hurt. So, so far that's the plan unless something twists and turns, which it does all the time. That's what we're gonna do. I need fuel pretty badly. One of, the, one of the problems in doing what I do is we run a lot of skinny roads, not many places to fuel. So a lot of times you end up having to go way out of the way for fuel. super busy who wants to do that so a lot of times you just end up pushing the limits a little bit I'm not quite pushing the limits yet I've got I've got a quarter of a tank here comes a four-wheel ninja meow see ya everybody's in a hurry Hurry to what? They just gotta do it. <clears throat> that was a dandy. 
we got her in here here's my entrance here's my road <laughs> had to back it in here we first backed it over there where that track hoe is and we pulled back out and got it lined up because we don't think that the track hoe will fit underneath those limbs on the trailer so we changed that up got over here but then we got all this crap that we're dealing with with my truck and still the track hoe but at least these are smaller limbs versus those big boys so we're in we're getting it loaded it was a team effort these guys are great to work with that's for sure hell they jumped on the trailer started slinging chains he's on the machine helping load it so cool deal I love working with good people always and uh we're gonna get this one where it needs to go get some work done what up pops how are you? You're new. You're new here, ain't you? Yeah, I'm fairly new. Yeah, I'm Chris. Cody. Cody, nice to meet you. We know this guy. Probably not without the beard. How we doing, my friend? Hi. Right, how are you? Good. Good. That is a. Well, you can see the tree limbs. Of course, I got all that GPS stuff on it. That's the last thing we want to break. That's why we elected to get it over here. Tight spot, tight spot. This is where we were getting all those tree stumps out of. We were coming in and out over there, but obviously there's a building there now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a bunch of buildings over here, old apartments, uh, a couple over here, and a house over here, obviously all gone. Make way for the new stuff.
That's it. She's landed. Clean this trailer up a little bit. Some of y'all have been suggesting uh, battery-powered leaf blowers. That makes a lot of sense. I'll probably be doing that soon. And I ain't got my blower with me neither. That's all right. Sorry about that. I ain't gonna get hung up on that damn wire back there. Oh, I don't blame you. <clears throat> That's good. You're good. I, I, I gotta let this thing shut off. Yep. I'm gonna back in and get hooked up. All right, we got her all flagged up, tied down, ready to go. We're gonna have to swing hard to the right to try to miss all this tree limb stuff. We're gonna be real careful not to break these GPS antennas. I'm gonna make sure we don't hit it. He's gonna ride it for a minute while we do that. And uh, then we're out of here. So let's go. All right, here we go. The tires are sort of dug down, so I'm starting down in a low, low gear. Just to get me. Foot slipped on the clutch. Let me start that over. Bottom of my shoes are a little wet. Sun is glaring hard. Got a fence to miss, but I can't see it. Climbing off the machine. Yeah, better not try. I'm gonna try my best with that. I'm too heavy for that. We gotta run in the neighbor's yard across the street here to make the turn. I could turn a little tighter, not much. Anything in, so we're not spinning their yard any. We are twisting pretty hard. Now, how to get to. See you, buddy. Thank you. Let's go. Excellent, Bill. And now I'm basically ready. This car came in on me, so. I wasn't even in my lane yet. I'm trying to get there. A lot of low tree limbs here. Watch them in the GPS's. Matter of fact, I'm switching lanes. on this side. It was a perfect hole. That was just luck. <laughs> and we're on a road that's 10 foot lanes and I got traffic coming at me. They're pulling over. We got the yellow line covered up and the white line is gone. We spun pretty good detaching, so hopefully, uh, hopefully the rehook goes well because he's fixing to shove this thing in the ground. We were scraping here, backing in. We had to lock them all in to get off of there. Keep going, keep going. Yep. He's in the ground. You can see all the dirt that I scraped up. I scraped all that dirt up back into back and in here. Get the roller to come over here and roll this in front of your truck. 
I'm gonna get you to help me because we're we're shoved in the ground pretty good. And pick it up some? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Fuck. Don't get too far away. I'm gonna go right here. All right. Yeah, we gotta get this knocked down. Gotta get that dirt dug out of there. That'll never hook this way. Ever, ever, ever. Now what I'm gonna do is, when I back up, I'm gonna get my hoops right here, stop me. We'll drop it and see if it'll hook up real good. All right, so we're not quite making it. They're gonna get that dozer, back drag some of this and roll the shit out of it and uh, see what happens. Oh yeah. What's this gonna be? Remember what Riverwood was? Yeah. Same thing. Okay. Just, just to be honest, I don't. I don't know. Do you remember Ottawa Plaza yep, yep. and the apartments in the back? Yeah. Just like that. Okay. But they're like townhomes. Yeah, they're yeah. They're not apartments. But. Yeah, nothing's apartments anymore. Yeah, I think that's going to get us good. Yeah. Well, as you can tell, <laughs> that was a chore. But we got it out of there. Um, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. It took several attempts. We finally got it hooked up. On to the next one. Well, we're back on that job with the, the big sand hill, but getting a slime rock in here no more walking up and down that hill heck yeah we're gonna grab that 200 komatsu we're gonna eventually grab that water truck looks like they're still using it and oh there it is that off-road truck right there is going Pablo what do you want to start with the track hoe yeah. you're gonna use that a little bit okay um, I'll get the track hoe and the truck and then I'll come for that. Okay. Um, and pull a little bit that way. I need to close my dozer. Okay. All right. So we're waiting on this lime rock truck to get out of the way. He's going to pull that dozer up there where that lime rock truck is, and I'm going to pull out of there, and he's going to take the dozer off behind me to do some work. You can obviously tell the truck is turned off. I am low on fuel. Lower than I like to be. Probably lower than I've ever been. So, we're gonna leave this old girl cut off while we're loading and unloading and waiting. As soon as we load this thing off, we're headed toward the truck stops. We'll get it dumped off and uh, then run down to the fuel station, get fuel and keep making our rounds but right now it's not in the red I don't think I've ever had one in the red <laughs> I don't like it <laughs> we're gonna try to keep it out of the red last time I cleaned these tracks I had to 
drill a hole in my finger. We're gonna try not to do that this time. After a big old traffic jam look at all that out there goodness gracious got an accident up here hopefully everybody's okay we got to figure out how to get on this job site with this track machine so we're gonna go over here and do some exploring but I wonder if we can get out there on the highway and do it don't see why not let's find out all right well we figured it out we're gonna get out there on Highway 27 and unload it. I've been down this road a while back. It's been a year or two. They were building like crazy, but I do know that it makes a big loop all the way around. We got a turn lane out there. So we're gonna get off on the shoulder where that turn lane is and uh, get her done. right over there pulling in with a roller this is one victim of the accident knocked his drive shaft out of the truck knocked the rear axle sideways that truck looks brand new it does not appear to be a diesel so it's not one of the real expensive ones but she's a mess they were hauling one out Two more off. Had a, 
heck of a conundrum. Four trucks, four trucks and cars in one wreck in a 45 mile an hour zone. Well, 55 down there. Oh, dang it, I ain't got my gloves. I'm not going back for them. They're building a Miller's Ale House here. Pop said that was a scary wide. <laughs> what do you say, Pops? He's here. You made it. I said, she's here. You made it. A little bit more. Turn it a little bit more. Okay. Now go back that way. Right there. Come down slow. Got half a tire. Coming off slow. Getting her done. Got her off. Now we're gonna go get us another one. This guy here is unloading in the road. The boss man bringing me my keys. I'm still good. All right, let's roll. Uh, I'm thinking, come around and park where I'm at and jump in with me. I can. Or you need somewhere to go? You want to ride me the rest of the day? How many you got? Two. Two. What is it over there? Off-road truck and uh... Is it the big off-road or the small one? It's 35 ton. Small one. Made it? Yeah. Put small. it on there. Yeah, you're yeah, right. going to be awfully high. You're going to be high on yours too? I know that, but I'm going to be a lot lower than that. <laughs> I wouldn't put that off-road truck on there. What else you got? Granddad water truck. The big one. Yeah. You can't handle either. I mean, I think you can handle it. I'm not saying you can't handle it, but I'm just saying that, well, hey, that's going to be way too high. Okay. Let's take my truck. Well, let's go around there and I'll park. I'll wait up for you over here. Give me the keys to this one. I'm driving this one. Do it. I'm letting Pops drive. drive. He can barely see over the steering wheel. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. It is what it is. It's a working truck. Wet lime rock is some nasty stuff. Let's see if he remembers. He hadn't been in this truck in a while. Yep, he's getting it. All right. Oh, look how muddy that is. Well, like I said when I bought it, we didn't buy a parking lot princess. We bought a work truck. Although we're going to keep her clean. Detail guy is coming Saturday, by the way. And then I got to get to the chrome shop about fenders. I got the fenders, just gotta get them put on. They gotta have time. It's all about time. Well, not time and money. But, we're getting it. What's up, buddy? Uh, You're the new guy from Texas, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Doing good? Yeah, yeah. You liking it? Yeah, yeah. How long have you been in Florida? Uh, about a month and a half. Okay. Yeah. You yeah, been with this company the whole time? Uh, no, I was working with the Coast to Coast, uh, but they were kind of far. I was working out in Tampa. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm taking that more every day then. Oh god. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I live right here in Winter Heaven. See? Yeah. Cool. Not that far. Liking it? Yeah. So far? Yeah, really. Do. Good deal. Good deal. Well, what you taking? Uh, the off-road truck first, cause y'all are still using the water truck. Yeah, right? yeah, correct. Yeah. You got a couple more hours. Yeah. yeah. All, All right. right. That works. See you, buddy. Yeah. Welcome to Florida. We'll take we'll take people from Texas. We don't mind that. Oh, especially hard workers. We need some more of that. Hopefully the key's in this thing. No, it is not. And Pablo's seen me coming here. Dang, Pablo. Oh, this thing's got a little back seat. I'll be damn. All right, no key. Gotta go find Pablo, get a key. Gotta go up there. Yeah, I want to buck the fender on these. Huh? Can we buck the fender? No, you don't have to. Well, I get it. That's just where I know it's my stopping point when I'm by myself. You can't see Okay, well, there. you knock the board around. That's the only thing. Now, oh, yeah, it's off the board a little bit. Dang it! Thought you were guiding me on, dude. I was trying to get you to That's stop. That's my favorite railroad tie. That thing's been with me a long time. Uh, yeah, I stole it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tie this son bitch down and go to work. Yeah, hey, there she is. Got old Pops helping out. Thank you, Pops. Volvo. What number is this? A. That's kind of dirty. A 30G. Maybe it's only a 30 ton. I thought it was a 36. But. We got chains and flags all around. She's ready to go. Big old joker. Still not the 55 ton, but it's a big one. 